fucking titty liquor. I like titty liquor. One, two, Ooh. three. Well, I guess we can talk until we actually start the game, so it doesn't really matter. Fucking faggots. Oh, mm, three, dick. two, one, press. Hello, everybody. This is LD from TGIO. Here with me is. Oh, Doug. And today. Okay, one of the two. One of the two. And today, we're going to be starting that mother let's play that I promised you, but this time we're going to completely finish it. And due to some shenanigans, we got to reset the first episode. That is so. just. No, nobody knows. Nobody that. needs to know. Alright, so. This is so, the first time we're playing this ever. Yeah. If that level 11 account above yeah. it. Uh, that wasn't us. So, from what I understand, Gabe, you've never really played a mother game before. No, officially no. Officially no. Well, well, we're... officially neither of you. I I played all three, <laughs> just not officially. Yeah, man, officially. I'm about to buy the I'm about to buy this game actually. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I can show you through Did this match. Floyd, by the way. No, I never named him Floyd! <laughs> uh, um, pizza! TGIO's favorite food will be the pizza. If I can figure out what the fuck Z is. So, um, we're gonna take you through this magical adventure. Let me give you a little bit of backstory while we're here. This game, in this game, everything will try to kill you. Keep everything. that in mind. That in this game is made by a man called Shigesato Itoi, which is known as pretty much the Renaissance Man of Japan. This man is literally quite famous for almost everything. Everything? Even things that aren't related to the games that he made? Apparently he's a pretty good screenwriter. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow fell over a rural town in America. Shortly after, a married couple mysteriously vanished. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, George returned home, but never told anyone where he had been or what he had seen and done. Instead, he deeply immersed himself in strange research. As for his wife, Maria, she never returned. Great, great way to start a child's story. In 1988, <laughs> outside the town of Mother's Day, there it is. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the beginning of Earthbound Zero, as many might know it, but I'm going to call it Mother, because it's its Japanese title, and we're playing the Mother 1 plus 2 ROM with an English patch. Now, if you do this, one thing that you'll get is that you'll get the easy ring that the translators put in. Really helpful for this beginning of the game. So... If you don't use the easy ring, then you'll get fucked over or something. Yeah, it's actually it's actually considered an accomplishment in the fan base to beat this game on their regular NES settings and Why, not is die it like once. Every other NES game, really fucking hard. Like Any, every yeah, other this NES is game. this is uh, could be def or defined as a NES RPG as it's really good, but it hasn't aged well at all. As in, it's really fucking hard. Is yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really hard. It hasn't not... aged well. It usually just means it's really hard. I say, if you're not using the easy ring, it's pretty hard. I have beaten it before without using the easy ring. I wouldn't recommend it. Now, that was our first battle right there with the evil possessed lamps. Another evil possessed lamp. It's, uh, it's real. Why is the lamp attacking you, by the way? <laughs> because. Earthbound. Does it ever explain? Yeah. The, the lamp? The lampiness? It'll tell you why all this shit's happening. You just gotta you just gotta get immersed. Got you know, gotta play about twenty hours first. I don't even think this game's twenty hours. What if I had no idea how to play this game? Would it be twenty hours? Be well over twenty hours? Maybe. Now here we have the first I'd say first mini boss is the baby doll in your sister's room. Now this baby doll actually holds some significance. Once you beat it, why is it? Why would you consider it a mini boss though? Because it's of not its harder than because of its, its its significance to the plot. Well, 
I, I played many bosses and they have no significance. They're just harder than regular. Well, you did it wrong, <laughs> all right? <laughs> There's rules, and you gotta follow them. I guess so. Kind of games don't follow those rules, man. Nope, that's why this those is aren't the, real games. Those aren't real games, man. They're not like this game, so it's not real. And like traditional RPG fashion, we level up, and your stats get increased for each level up. Like right now, fight went up by two, speed went up by three, wisdom went up by two, strength went up by three, force three, max HP four, max PP four. <laughs> Get, no, we would have. <laughs> PP counts for psychic points, you nasty, nasty perverts. Penis points. <laughs> Why would that make any sense? It does. And since Trust I'm using me. the easy ring, we get two levels up out of that fight if you fight both lamps. All these stats are significant, like HPs, of course, health, PPs, how many psychic points you got. And we learned a new psychic PSI move in battle. The mysterious phenomenon has stopped for now. Let's check. So right now we have life up. This is the little status menu that shows you your level. Offense, defense, fight, speed, wisdom, strength, force, EXP, HP, PP, and what you have equipped it plus melodies. Now you might be sitting there wondering, now LD, what do those melodies have to do with anything? Yes, LD, why, what, what do those melodies have to do with anything? Those melodies become really important in the game. And this is why this baby doll holds significance, because it holds the first of eight. But LD, what is the significance? You will learn. <laughs> In dear time. Hey man, no spoilers. No spoilers, man. If I told you the ending of it now, what'd be the point of watching? Does this have a sting at the end? Yeah. Leading in the mother too. Yeah. <laughs> now after we fight that, we want to go down here and talk to our mom. Are you okay, Ninten? What on earth is happening to our home? It's fine. Nice. I don't need that juice. <laughs> I'm so scared. If only your father were here now. Oh, the phone. Could you get it, Ninten? It's not your father. It's no, it's, it's someone else. It's your uncle. It's someone else. Nintendo picked up the telephone. Nintendo, it's your dad. Also known as your uncle. <laughs> I know you like to call me dad for some reason. <laughs> I know I've been a father figure. Now nah, it's your dad. Hmm, I see. Sounds like it might have been a poltergeist of some sort. See? Shit was possessed. I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> not one bit. I don't believe it. <laughs> if, if I don't believe in it, it's not real. But your grandfather did study PSI at one point. Perhaps there's something in the basement that could help make sense of things. I know I put the basement key somewhere, but I don't remember where. Anyway, you're on your own- er, <laughs> I remember somewhere, but no, you fuck it. Anyway, you're on your own- I can't- I can't read. Let's see. Anyway, anyway you're, you're our, our only, only hope. hope. Now, now is the time, time, time for an adventure. Go forth, Nintend. Protect us all. Click. Beep, beep, beep. Now, I want you to sit and think for a second. What would be the most logical place for keys? Uh, on a key ring, maybe? Or maybe under a rug? Well... Maybe the mom knows, because, you know, it's her house. Well, all those points were stupid, and you're stupid for it. Because the most logical thing... Is on a fucking dog. Is on a dog's <laughs> collar. Yeah, hey, let's talk to the dog. Hey, dog. If something ever seems strange, be sure to check all animals. PSI. Yo, dog. Eh, normally you can use telepathy to talk to animals in this game, but guess not. It's locked. So what you want to do, not the ATM card. <laughs> you want to pick it open with the card. You got to slide the card through and unlock the door. Welcome to the basement. I'm talking to you, Mr. President. Why do you always ignore me? You gotta open up. In this present, we find Great Grandfather's Diary. <laughs> Which might as well just throw that away. I mean, we'll never use that. <laughs> hey, that's not the whole reason we came down here. Cracked Bat, which can be equipped. Cracked Bat is the weakest equipped item. Believe it or not, there's only like four or so equipped items for Nintendo in this game. Then what the hell's all the other shit for? <laughs> like, party actual members or? party members, armor, or defense boosts. Quest oriented what? items. We got, so we came down here, we got cracked back, Grand so, Grandpa. It's a very plain basement. It's pretty dark. Listen to that like spooky ass music. Let's hang out hit down here for a while. Like what if you walk down the steps to your basement and like it's pitch black and you hear this music. I walk, turn my ass around and walk <laughs> back up the stairs. <laughs> I'd get my ass out of that place. Now I want you to sit for a second and appreciate this song. Got that beatboxing. 
check to see. Happy as shit song. No, I don't want to hit that. All right, so pretty much now that we got out of the house, our first place to go would probably be the town called Mother's Day, which is right there on the map. You don't say. You don't say. So let's just enjoy this music as we take a casual little stroll through here. Surprise that we haven't ran into any enemies yet. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. My dear Pippi's gone lost. If you're going to the town, please tell the mayor for me, okay? Well, seems like we figured out something to do once we get in the town. Seems like her daughter Pippi has gone missing. Maybe we should tell the authorities what of this. What a stupid little girl. What a stupid girl. Here we have an actual tough enemy if you're not using the easy ring. A uh, redneck. I believe in the actual English translation it was like farm boy or wally or something like that. So, rednecks attack small children. Yeah. So, that means that we should have been attacked quite a few times. Yeah, we, we have quite the few rednecks in our town. But, redneck actually has a few things. He can actually raise his defense by going into a rage. Or not as a... Yeah, like he flew to a rage. About those Obamas and all, man, they just get so angry. <laughs> no, I know Mitt Romney's the best. Mitt Romney. Yeah, but once Redneck goes into a rage, his uh, offense will actually increase. But the good thing is, I think he can only do it once, and like it only counts. The Redneck thinks like you, you helped Obama get elected. That's why he attacks you. <laughs> <laughs> this game was set in, in like a modern time and not the '80s. I I bet that probably would happen. I, can't, I wonder what this game would be like. You if it was, damn liberal! I don't know what a liberal means either, but I can't call him an N-word in public. He's <laughs> 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 got those beatboxings. Did a poacher guy's tech your house? It tore mine apart. Yeah, it used to be in this very <laughs> spot. It used to be right here in the road. People used to get mad all the time. <laughs> Maybe the ghost was angry because his house was in the way. Well, here's the beginning of the first town, Mother's Day. Did you come from the cemetery to the south? Or you didn't come from the cemetery to the south, did you? Please tell me you didn't. Seems like there might be some comeuppance. Well, bitch, no, it looks like we're going to the cemetery. It looks like we might have to go to the cemetery later in this game. Well, everybody, this was the very first part of the Earthbound Let's Play. Kind of boring, I know, but stick around and it'll get a whole lot better, I assure you. We just got the basics settled. As always, this is LD from TGIO, accompanied by... Dog Dog and or Gabe. And we hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bitches. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time. Peace, Peace. out.